Hello, today I want to show you something about this, uh, show you a little something about this uh, Ninja Foodie, the pressure cooker that crisps. I finally broke down and got one. I went to, uh, finally got this one from Kohl's. It starts out to be a little bit more at Kohl's than uh, Walmart, about, well, about $20, 20 or $30 more starting out at Kohl's, I mean, yeah, than uh, Walmart. But if you've got a coupon, for say some money and then you got your your uh, discount coupon also then you can bring it down below what Walmart's price is I think we got this one down for you know I think it was fifteen dollars less than uh, Walmart's price after we, we had our coupons and stuff and, and and the tax and everything the tax on this one after we finished this and the tax on this one was about fifteen dollars less than what what Walmart is but you know you gotta you gotta have your coupons and your stuff where you can do that but uh, I was, when I saw this on TV I said well I think I'm gonna have to tell this thing here I mean we've got an old pressure cooker that we use sometimes but and we love our air fryer and I don't think this will ever take the, the place of our uh, uh, power fryer XL you know so we'll see as, as time goes on but anyway this looks like a pretty neat thing it says pressure cooker up to 70% faster air fryer crisper 75% less oil and tender crisper pressure cook to lock in juices finish with a crisp so let me show you a little bit about the machine itself here okay here's the machine itself you see it's pretty impressive looking it's got all these uh, there's your temperature control and that's where you pressure cooking or crisping and over here you've got your uh, time and down here it's got your different settings down here it's got for pressure and steam and slow cook and uh, saute air crisp bake or roast or broil so you got a lot of different choices on this you got you can truly, this is one of the few uh, cooking utensils I've seen that you can actually actually replace a lot of different cooking appliances you've got in your house with this one machine here because it will do a lot. Like I say, I don't know if it'll ever take the place of my power air fryer or not, but we'll see how it goes. But this one here, it, it really looks, looks good if it works anything near what it says. Okay, now you have to have two lids with this thing. That's how the pressure cooker operates. This is your pressure cooker lid here, and you have to put this. Well, let me take it off. If I can get it off and show you. So you've got this pressure cooker lid here. It's heavy duty lid, and you put this on. And just twist it like that, and it locks into place. Okay, then that's how you do your pressure cooking. You have to have that lid on. Now, this thing, this sticker here, explains to you about, if I can get it right side up, explains to you about how you have to put it in there and lock it into place and everything so that uh, you can pressure cook. Okay, you got that, and then you get this basket that stays on the inside of the machine and this thing we here will come off you know you just snap it off and snap it back on and then you get this basket here you know which you can put down inside this pot and it's reversible so you can have it either setting low or you can have it setting up high and this non-stick pot comes out here so you can see that so it, it's real easy cleanup should be and so but in order to cook with your basket here you have to take this out all together and just set aside and then you put this down in your pot there I would like it if you could put that in, inside the uh, inside this basket here. I think I would have liked that better because you could have uh, you, I think you've got more use out of it that way but this is alright. You can just set it in there like this or turn it upside down and set it down in there. So 
and make it lower to the bottom, whichever one you prefer. Now, the drawback on this thing, I'll tell you, the problem with this thing is, as great as everything else is, it weighs a little over 20 pounds without the pressure cooker lid. You take this and put it back inside of it, which it stays in all the blood. Well, that'd be the way you want to store it, probably. But you put that in there, and that's all that goes in there, and you set this lid. Now that, right there, weighs a little over 20 pounds. So, I will tell you, you need a place where you can set it and just about leave it all the time. It's not one of these appliances that you can just take and, and set down somewhere. You know, because it'll give you, it's going to give you a hernia having to lift it up and down out of a shelf or something like that, you know. So, keep that in mind when you get one. Have a place where you can sit it. And that way you won't be so disappointed with it. And that way it'll be easy to, uh, easier for you to use and more convenient for you to use too. But, like I say, that's the only drawback to me so far from what I can see. Now later on, you know, it might be, it might, it might not be very good to do, but it looks like it's going to be a real good thing. And it says, got a little, wait a minute, let me see if I can get the camera up here so you can see. Okay, it's got this little warning uh, sticker up here. It says, caution, do not block vent. And over here, it's got this one here. It says lift the lid, sneak peek, and it says uh, when you lift the lid, it cuts off automatically when it's crystal. Of course, now you're not going to lift that lid when you're pressure cleaning because you will, well, you're just not going to do it. I, I imagine it's got a safety device on there that won't let you do it while the pressure's build up in it. So, uh, <laughs> if you get it under pressure, you really don't want to pop the lid on. But anyway, there you go. On, on, when you're crisping and stuff, you can, you can just, like it says here, uh, lift the lid, sneak a peek, and see how your stuff is doing. And by the way, this I've got a feeling this is going to be just like all the rest, all the air fryers, is when you get ready to uh, start air frying something, you go, you really need to flip it uh, about halfway through, so both of them get crisp on top about the same way. So. Anyway, that's about it for the preview of this thing. So I just wanted to let y'all see it, see how it looked, and tell you that one thing, that's the hole back on it, and that's the, uh, that's just the weight of it. And that's, that's not bad. I mean, for me, it's not too bad. But like I say, I'm going to leave it sitting on the counter all the time, you know, until my wife makes me move <laughs> somewhere else. But anyway, that's that's the way it is. And I hope you enjoyed my little videos because I like making them for you. I'm gonna make another one for you real soon because I gotta get to cooking some stuff in this thing. See how it's gonna work out. We've got the holidays coming up now. So if you can, give me a thumbs up and join my channel. And y'all come back and see me real soon now. I'll have another video for you. This is the Ninja, Ninja uh, our, uh, our fryer crisper pre uh, pressure cooker and everything else you want to call it. It's a foodie. The Ninja Foodie. So, hope you enjoyed my little video and y'all come back and see me real, real soon again now. Y'all have a good day now. Goodbye.